My name is Michaela. Welcome back to another video. Today is going to be a reading vlog. I'm going to be reading Happy Place by Emily Henry. Now, does anyone know how to get these stickers off? The Target stickers? Because as you can see, I tried with the 30% and it just fucked it up and I'm really upset about it. But yeah, any tips on how to remove those stinking stickers? Let me know. I am not a contemporary romance girl. I like fantasy romance. I like fantasy in general over contemporary romance, but you know, everyone's hyping up this book. I've read one other Emily Henry book before and that was People We Meet On Vacation. And I liked it, but I didn't love it. I'm not, I was not like enthralled with it. Like I feel like a lot of the book community is with Emily Henry. I really like her writing, but I didn't love, love, love People We Meet On Vacation. And that's the only book of hers that I have read prior to reading this one today. So, I mean, I have, I have high hopes because I feel like people that have similar book tastes to me love Emily Henry. So it might just be like a me problem. Do you know what I mean? This book, first of all, it's a pink book. So I thought I'd wear my pink bookish sweatshirt to match it. <laughs> it looks cute. Like the cover in general looks cute. I'm gonna take the uh, dust jacket off because looking at those stickers is really uh, pissing me off. Wait, look at the little, oh my gosh. It's like pink foiling on the side. I hope you guys can see it. If I like bring it closer, if you can see it better. That looks really pretty. It looks like a really cute book, but I've heard people say that it kind of um, gets really sad. And I'm just a sad girl by nature, so I am anxious to see how I react to this book. I resonate with it at all, but so far I do judge books on their covers. That's a cute cover and I love yellow, so. So far, points for Emily for me. I have my matcha already. I will probably have more than one today, but this is my first one of the day. I have nothing else on the agenda today except to read this book. Even if I dislike the book, like a day spent reading a book is better than a day doing anything else, am I right? Anyway, get started. Happy place, Emily Henry. Okay, I'm only two chapters in. I've only read the first two chapters. And so far it is like a dual timeline. I almost said dual POV. It's a dual timeline. So we're getting like in the past, but we're also getting present day. I'm gonna be giving no spoilers throughout this entire thing. So don't worry about spoilers. But so far I'm very much into it. I think Emily Henry just writes really well. Just so far I'm really into it. Chapter two kind of ends and you're like, wait, what the heck's going on? So I'm excited, but I'm gonna take a pause because my dog needs his midday walk. We have a schedule, we have a routine and it's his midday walk time. And he knows it because he's looking at me and he's standing by the door. So I'm gonna go take him on a walk and then we'll pick back up. But so far only two chapters in and um, I think it's gonna be a good one. page 100 and I believe there's like 400 ish pages in the whole entire book. So I'm a quarter of a way through. My update for you is that I'm scared because like I said, it is a dual timeline. So we're seeing like eight to 10 years in the past, like these two individuals and then them now. Obviously shit goes down, but I feel like we don't have all of the information yet. I'm scared. What I will say is that the banter that they have is is great. Like I'm smiling while reading and that's how I know it's like good banter and good flirting. And then the, the friends, it's like this close friend group and I really like their dynamic. I think it's really fun. And just like the whole environment of them being at like a beach town, kind of giving me the vibes. So, so far I'm liking it, but I'm just kind of worried. I'm waiting for like the other shoe to drop. So I thought I would take a break and eat some lunch. This is my lunch. Guys, if you've watched any of my vlogs, you know that every day I have the same thing, which is a chicken salad. 
and I'm out of ranch, out of Hidden Valley Ranch, so I just, I can't have that salad. So I made a turkey sandwich. I don't know how well, oh yeah, you guys can see it. A turkey sandwich. I have some, I have a pickle, obvi, I have some chips, and then I have some stroops, I have some strawberries. I have my laptop in front of me, which you cannot see, but best believe it's there. And I'm just gonna watch some YouTube while I eat. That's what I'm gonna do. I might go upstairs to read because I feel like I'm a bed reader. Are you guys like a bed reader or a chair reader? I know that reading in bed is not good. I have problems sleeping, so I know that reading in bed doesn't help with that, but you know, it is what it is. And I wanna be comfortable because this book is making me feel cozy, so I want to um, be physically cozy as well, not just cozy in my mind. We'll see what happens. That's my update. <laughs> Guys, this line. He's a golden boy. I'm a girl whose life has been drawn in shades of gray. I try not to love him. I really try. <laughs> Reading update. I am halfway through. I'm on page 192. And there is, I think, like 400 pages in this book. I would say my emotions currently are confused. This is not a spoiler. This is like the summary of the book that you can read on the back of the book. So if you know anything about this book, this should not be like a big spoiler. But the premise essentially is this couple that has been together for a really long time and they broke up, but due to like their friendship dynamic and their family dynamics, they are not sharing, they have not shared with anyone that they'd been broken up for a few months. So it's them kind of being thrust into a situation where having to be like faking that they're still together. Like I've said a few times, it's a dual timeline. So we're getting present day, them dealing with this like breakup, even though they can't really talk about being broken up. And then with the previous timeline in the past of like a relationship, it began feelings and that sort of thing. And the reason why I say I'm confused is because I flat out don't know why they broke up. Like they seem wonderful for one another. Um, they seem like they both really love one another. And I don't really have a clear cut reason to why they are no longer together. And one of the characters also is unaware of why they're no longer together. And so I'm just confused. I posted that I was reading this today on TikTok. People are like, oh my gosh, like be prepared. You will be crying your eyes out throughout the entire thing. And I'm halfway through and I have not shed a tear. So does that make me an emotionless monster or have I not yet gotten to the sad parts of this book? A couple sad things have happened, like sad quotes and stuff. And I was like, oh, like I definitely like feel sadness but like not bawling my eyes out so maybe i just haven't hit that sad part yet i don't know i feel like i'm confused i'm waiting for the next shoe to drop like i don't know why they broke up I, I don't understand and one of the characters in this partnership also is kind of in the dark about why they broke up especially going back to the original timeline to the past timeline and seeing the conception of their relationship and like how they fell in love and how they feel about one another I'm just like, I don't know if this is going to be a happily ever after book. Like, I don't know if they're going to end up together. I don't know. I'm, I'm confused. I'm scared. I, I'm enjoying it. I just don't know what to feel or how I'm supposed to feel. That's what I have for you as my update. Okay. Okay, I get it. <laughs> okay. I get it. All right, here's the deal. I have this amount of the book left. Um, I think it's a little less than 100 pages. I understand why people are crying. <laughs> I cried. My heart feels heavy. It's really pretty yellow cover is deceiving. And I'm still not 100% sure on how to feel. I mean, the book's not over, right? I was gonna say we don't have resolution, but the book's not over, so obviously there wouldn't be a resolution. But I have a headache. I thought I had more to say when I started this clip, but I'm just kind of thinking about the order of events that have happened in this book, and I'm realizing that I don't really have really have anything to add. I don't know how Emily Henry's gonna end this book. I don't know how this book is gonna end. I don't know how we are going to achieve a happily ending for everyone in this book. This book is not what I expected it to be. There are lines in here. There are like quotes that um, both of our main characters, Wynne and Harriet both say that I feel like, like Emily Henry has been listening in on my conversations. Like I feel like these are things that I have described either as feeling or in like kind of a familial dynamic that I am just like, whoa. I'm feeling a little bit called out in some of these scenes where they, um, where they talk to one another. Man. 
feeling sad and I have a headache I think what we're gonna do is before I do this last little chunk of the book again I really don't have that much left in the grand scheme of things I'm gonna make a matcha because I feel like that will kind of bring me some joy while I'm making the matcha I can kind of try to formulate um, my thoughts and formulate my feelings on this book my very melodramatic reading update <laughs> a good one okay my matcha let's go back upstairs and read the last 100 pages of this really sad book appreciate so much about this book even more so so much about these characters is that it's so real it's so realistic the issues they face seem very familiar i said that some of the things that they talked about are things that like i have straight up said in my life about certain people or certain relationships or certain dynamics so it just felt so real to me it felt so realistic it wasn't like a romance where they immediately fall in love and then you know follow the whole format of going through a third act breakup and then they get back together and everything's like wonderful and they complete each other it's not like a typical romance book these aren't typical characters at least in my opinion the friend group in here i feel like had so much representation of so many different kinds of people that you could not help but think of certain people when you were reading about these characters like oh i've had a friend like that or oh sometimes i've been that friend or i do love and romance that way. So I think Emily Henry is a fucking genius. I think that she made me laugh. I think that she made me cry. I think that she left me stunned a few moments. She left me um, being confused in the middle of this book, but she answered everything that she confused me about. I think that if a book makes me feel this much, I can't not give it five stars. Do you know what I mean? This is gonna be one of those books that I will continue to think about. This is gonna be one of those books where throughout the rest of this week, in the back of my head, I'm gonna be thinking about Harriet and Wynne, wishing that I had a ocean cottage to retreat to in Maine. Have I ever been to Maine? No, but this book makes me wanna go there. I'm someone that likes to talk, some may say too much. And so the fact that this book is like straight up leaving me speechless because I am trying to formulate my opinion and formulate the correct words today, I feel like should um, tell you guys a lot. I wanna reread this book. I've never annotated a book, but I wanna go through and annotate this book because there were so many lines where I literally just closed the book and was just like, wow. I want to reread it. Anyone happy place reread? Reread together, buddy read with me. This is going to be one of my top reads for 2023, I can already tell. If you have thought about picking up this book, I think you should do it. And I also think you should let me know what you think about it. If you have already read this book, I would love for you to drop a comment and let me know what you think about it. Did you also have like an existential crisis while reading this? Did you absolutely hate it? I mean, to each their own, do you know what I mean? Different strokes for different folks. I really like this book, guys. Thank you for reading this book with me. Thank you for joining in on this little day of reading that I had, it was wonderful. If there are any other books that you're like, oh, I'd love to see you do a reading vlog on that book, please let me know, because I, I really like doing them. So if there's a book coming out, or maybe a book that you're like, oh, I don't know if you read this book, but I'd love to see you do a reading vlog, let me know, I will most def do it. But that is going to close up this video on the reading vlog of Happy Place by Emily Henry. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you more than you know. Please follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I post there every single day, multiple times a day. Maybe I'm annoying. I don't know. Maybe you like it. I don't know. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.